Hey, what's up everybody? It's Jake, AKA Korean Jew Trading. And uh, I just want to really quickly go over my thoughts on Walton uh, Chaincoin, WTC. Um, I'm in a rush, but I'm getting a lot of messages and tweets, people asking me what, what I think in regards to this Chinese exchange ban. And rather than tweet a bunch of tweets, I think it would be a little easier for me to make a video. So I'll try to get to the point. Um, obviously, most of you have probably heard by now or saw the tweet that Walton is going to be uh, not traded on Chinese exchanges. And I think when that tweet came out last night, um, if you look at the chart, obviously a lot of people were emotional, they panicked and they sold um, and got smoked. Uh, you saw this big red candle and then the bounce back was incredible. So, you know, uh, people with weak hands, my guess is a lot of them didn't do their own due diligence. They just jumped on something that was hot without really understanding the project. And as soon as they saw some news, they dumped it and smart money picked it up. Remember, crypto is, uh, it's a zero sum game. So if you're making money, that means somebody somewhere is losing money. Um, so just hopefully if that was you, you learned your lesson. Um, do not be emotional. Uh, you have to think clearly. And, and it's, a, it's a normal reaction. When I saw that tweet myself, my first instinct was, oh shit, you know, this is, this is bad. Um, and then I thought about it for a second and I started to, I read it over and they did not announce that Binance would be removing WTC. They announced that it wouldn't be on Chinese exchanges, but I'm not really sure which Chinese exchanges it's on because when you look at coin market cap, um, according to that, 99% of the volume is on Binance anyway. It's Binance and Ether Delta. And Binance is a, it's not a Chinese exchange, number one. Um, the majority of the traffic and volume on Binance comes from, comes from the West or Korea or other countries, not China. Um, and 99% of Walton's volume comes from Binance. So it's really kind of fishy the way they put that out. Um, and if you look at the price right now, it's 0 0.00045. To me, that's, I'm, I'm impressed with that strength. Um, the fact that people, when that tweet came out and it dumped and you saw people buying it up, I mean, I think those people probably know something that we didn't know, or, or if you sold something you don't know. So when you think about it, all it would take was would be a tweet from Binance saying, um, you know, Walton is here to stay. It is not affected. And, and in fact, you saw more tweets come out saying, from, uh, showing the Slack of Binance Slack, showing the, uh, that they are in fact not delisting Walton. Um, so in, a, in, in summation, uh, I, uh, I feel good about it. Um, I'm not really too concerned and you know don't don't be emotional that's it um, this game is so manipulated I mean look at look at Charlie Lee's tweet just a few hours ago one tweet and people are selling their bitcoins um, it really reminds me of how the market behaved in July leading up to the, the hard fork um, you kept getting the, this crazy volatility where it would run up and then you know some news would come out coin telegraph would produce some sort of article that appeared negative towards bitcoin and the price would go down and me personally i, I think it was july 16th um i did i did a really risky play that i wouldn't do again um i had about 80 percent of my portfolio in tether and when bitcoin dropped to 1840 i bought that day was it was amazing for me because i bought Bitcoin at 1840. I bought Ethereum at 259, and then again at 240. Um, I bought Dash at 125. Um, it was incredible. So I remember I knew people that you know were trying to mimic or do, do. We were all doing the same strategy of going to Tether and buying that dip. And there were so many people that thought, you know, it's going to go to 1500, and there was FUD, and everybody sell, 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 and when it bounced back and if you remember i remember i think it was three days after i bought it 1840 bitcoin was at like 290 uh 2900 and and ethereum was way up like 275 um and i knew so many people stuck they're like i got 90 90 percent of my portfolio in tether uh <laughs> and, and they're just watching the bull run happen and then and then it happened again and we went all the way up to where we are now so in a nutshell, if you're looking at this price point, you know, in the 41 to 4200 range, think of where we were about a month and a half ago. And think about where, if you're investing in this space, think about where you think we'll be in six months or next year. Do you think we'll be below or above 5,000? 
My guess is most of you believe it will be above. So put that in perspective. Look at this as an opportunity. I mean, obviously these, these crazy dips, every time someone says the word China, the price drops by a few hundred bucks. Um, instead of being mad about it and, and panic selling or just getting depressed, why don't you use your head and figure out a way to make money off of it, okay? Because I guarantee there are, people are, the a lot of these people that are tweeting and creating this this mess in China, they're making money. There's there's no doubt in my mind. So so how do we do that? Um, my recommendation would be, the next time it runs up a bit and, and you're feeling good about your portfolio, put 15 to 20 percent in tether, so that if this happens again, you can buy Bitcoin and then buy cheap alts. That's what I would do. Don't go all the way because just when it starts to get predictable. Um, Bitcoin in this market ha has a way of really, uh, you know, pulling the wool over your eyes and, and tricking you. So what my gut is telling me um, that one of these days it's going to go down and then it's going to bounce back. And then all of a sudden you're going to see positive news. Something will happen um, and the price is going to break right through 5000 and, and go up. Um, so you, you just don't want to be caught fully in tether when that happens. So that's why you only do maybe 15 to 20% of your portfolio that way. Um, the other thing you can do is just uh, allocate more of your portfolio to Bitcoin itself. But when, when Bitcoin drops and altcoins bleed, you wanna pick up those solid alts. Um, like obviously if you watch my videos, you know which ones I like. Um, Neo is one that I'm actually looking at as well. But uh, OMG, Quantum, Civic, Neo, and EOS. Um, EOS, not for nothing, looking pretty strong right now. So uh, definitely check out my videos. Um, this was not planned or scripted. So it's just my thoughts. Uh, I hope it helps you. And uh, take care, guys.